My name is the Just Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II tank tutorial. And today we're, well, not much of a tank tutorial now, but uh, it's still in the classifications. Uh, today we are doing the Dutch M39 Panzerwagen, which is a Dutch armored car. Though I don't know too much about it at all, as when I say that I don't know anything about it. Uh, it just was a requested vehicle, plus there's a friend of mine from the Netherlands, you know who you are, buddy, uh, who requested this vehicle, and, you know, who can turn down the request of a friend. So, anyway, uh, the M39 Panzerwagen, just giving it a quick little look around, you see what it is. Cute little thing. Um, some of you, uh, more freaks about, you know, more of you armored car freaks will probably appreciate this one. Um, I'm content with it. I personally like it, I like how it turned out, and I hope you guys do too. So, now, anyway, let's move on to the Panzerwagen. Uh, I intend for this to be hopefully a simple tutorial. Uh, not too much of this small build, anyway. So we're just gonna start with an upside down stone brick stair, actually on either side. We're gonna do uh, two of them upside down, back spacing to the back. Uh, one on either side, behind that we're gonna do a upside down cobblestone stair. And we're, uh, I'm gonna work on the underneath the vehicle in a minute, but right now we're just going to um, skip back three spaces, and we're just going to have a upside down stone brick stair, and you can see where that's supposed to be positioned. Honestly, though, designing the wheels was probably the hardest part of this build when I was making it because of how small the Punster Logan is, um, or small as I'm building it, and I have to actually reposition these stone brick stairs. Small as I'm building it, the wheels are sort of crammed together. Um, so trying to build them in such a way that they're distinct from each other is kind of hard. But, by the grace of God, got it done. So, anyway, underneath, we're gonna grab some spruce slabs, uh, some iron trap doors, uh, and some stone brick slab. We're going to take our uh, stone, our spruce slabs. We're going to do three here, and then in front of those, we're going to do three iron trap doors, and then two. Um, come on, brain, Reaper brain, think, 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 think. Nah! Top slabs of stone brick. I hate this brain. Bad brain. It doesn't want to work for me. And we're just going to bring the spruce wood slabs all the way back to here. And then we're going to do three top uh, three top placed iron trap doors. And honestly, that's how simple layer one is. Layer one, don't get, simp don't get any simpler than that. So, now we're done with layer one, let's move on to layer two. Oh, and I will uh, put, I will note now, so that you guys aren't misled, that there are, there is no interior for this. If it wasn't obvious enough because of how small this thing is, this thing is uh, rather small, but there is no interior. If you want to make an interior for yourself, go right ahead. But I felt like I was not going to sacrifice the overall design for the sake of a simplistic interior. Um, take that as you will. Um, Alright, so paying attention. Actually, what I'm just going to do first, I'm just going to fill this up with cyan terracotta. I was about to say gray. The only reason I use cyan is because it looks gray. I think we can all agree on that fact. 
Hashtag uh, cyan is very. Uh, we're gonna head to the back of the vehicle. We're gonna do two cobblestone stairs here with a spruce stair to the side of it there. Spruce, upside down spruce stair here and here uh, with a upside down stone brick stair here. I'm not sure if it's the same on the other side, is it? It is. Alright, so it is mirrored. I did mirror it. Um, going to take. Alright, I'm just gonna come over here and grab it. Dark oak stairs. Put a dark oak stair here and here. These are sort of the fenders, and then three uh, spruce stairs. Upside down dark oak stair here, one over here. Uh, we're going to take some signs. And we're going to do the signs along the tops of the wheels on either side here. This is just like extra armor plating. Looks a lot more appealing than the actual Panzerwagen, but I hope I did an alright job trying to uh, replicate said Panzerwagen. So we're just going to do some uh, wooden trapdoors in the back, so the wheels here, sort of making the rest of the fenders there. And with that, we are done with layer 2. So now we're done with layer 2, let's move on to layer 3. So now, moving on to layer 3, we're going to just take our cyan terracotta, which is a lie, and we're just going to sort of do it in this shape, I think. I think this is how we want it. Uh, not here. I'm gonna break these two blocks. Um, the one on the corner here is gonna get changed, so we'll grab that. I'm just gonna break that one and put a polished andesite. I'll always mix up the blocks, so I don't want to mix them up now. Uh, all right, so those are going to turn. So spruce stair there, spruce stair here, and then a nether brick stair. This one here. Another brick stair right in the center. We're gonna place an end rod right off the front of this thing. I'll tell you what, when the Dutch were making this thing, uh, they went rather crazy with the machine guns. Um, for better or for worse. It's got a lot of machine guns. So now we're gonna take some wooden trap doors. We're gonna place a wooden trap door here, wooden trap door here. Take our spruce stairs, put one here, put one here. We're going to turn it back this way. We're going to do a spru uh, stone brick stair here. We're going to take our nether brick stairs. Do two here. Spruce stairs. We're going to do one here and then turn it here. And now I'd like to assume everything's mirrored on this side, sort of. Alright, so we're going to be using a dark oak stair here. So spruce stair here, dark oak stair here. Spruce all the way up this side here. And we'll just put a stone brick stair there. I'm going to grab our, our cobblestone stairs, do two here. We're going to grab some pistons. Decorate for decorative purposes. Please do not activate these. Do not try this at home. We're going to take some daylight sensors. We're going to do two daylight sensors here. We're going to take a nether brick stair, put it here. Off the back of that, we're going to do a machine gun here for N rod. We're going to do a green carpet here and here. And with that, we are done with layer 3. So now that we're done with layer 3, let's move on to layer 4. Uh, actually, we're going to move on to our final layers of layer 4 and 5. So we're just going to get this all done and out of the way now because there's really not much left to the Ponser Wagon. So let's take our polished andesite. We're going to put one here, and I think we're actually going to put one on the other side. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to do a row of three cyan terracotta off the front we're going to do an upside down spruce stair we're going to take a dark oak fence gate put one here and off the front of that we're going to put an end rod we're going to take our mossy cobble wall we're going to do one on each corner we're going to do which way did I have this open? Probably not that important, but uh, okay, so we have it opening through the front. Very nice, very cheeky. We're gonna grab all these. We're gonna do two green carpet here, one stone button on either of those polished and the sites. We're gonna put a wooden trap door here opening toward the front. Not like it matters, we're not going in anywhere. Uh, we're gonna put a stone pressure plate right here on the base of the no bad. Right here on the base of the gun. We're gonna do that. 
We're gonna do a wooden trap door here. We're gonna do a wooden trap door here. We're gonna take a sign. We're gonna put a sign along the side of the gun here, which is gonna be a secondary gun. I think of lower caliber. Uh, we're gonna take our wooden buttons and need an anvil, and we're going to need a uh, item frame. We're going to put an uh, item frame on either side here on the block itself. We're going to put a wooden button in the frame. We're going to put a anvil. Don't uh, move it anyway. Uh, we're going to put a button on this all right, on this block, and we're going to put a uh, anvil inside of there. And boom, we are done with. Wait a minute, are we done? Did we get everything? Everything's done, right? All right, yes, good. Alright, so now we are done with the M139 Punzer vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, this was a short -er tutorial, although I'm sure none of you are complaining because of the length of my videos. I'm sure none of you are complaining. Um, though there is no interior, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, but go ahead. Go nuts. You guys can build it now. Uh, if you're going to be putting it anywhere, just make sure you give me credit for it, where the original design came from. I'm sure a lot of you do, and for those of you that don't do it, please be a little bit more, uh, you know, considerate and please leave, you know, uh, please leave it, like, leave a sign somewhere saying who built the vehicle, just, I would like the recognition, help me out, help me grow here, guys, don't take the credit for the build, but, uh, if you're gonna modify it, still, just give the credit where it's due, anyway, if you ever make a interior for this vehicle, please feel free to leave a, um, f feel free to, you know, send the image to me over either Twitter or Discord or heck, even Facebook. And, and you know, I have a Facebook page and I have a Twitter page. Uh, feel free to join my Facebook page. Uh, link in the description as well as my Twitter and my Discord. Join any of them. If you ever make a tutorial, if you ever make an interior for this, send me some images. I'd be happy to see it and possibly even apply it to my own build if it happens to be good enough. I'll even apply it to my own build, and whether or not it gets a tutorial, maybe I'll just do an update tutorial later in the future. Maybe even update the build, if it need be. Um, same goes for any of the older vehicles that may not even have a interior. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed the M39 Panzerwagen. I hope you all make some good use out of it. And, yeah, with that's, that's about it. So, anyway... God bless, roll out, and goodbye.